Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a smooth animation in minutes. Okay? Before we start doing anything, you can download the files below this video. Or if you're watching this on another platform like YouTube, Facebook, then visit the website where you can download this file. Okay? For that, go to 2D101.com forward slash hunter scene. Now for this, you're gonna need Cartoon Animator 4, which you can download from 2D101.com forward slash CA4, which stands for Cartoon Animator 4. If you don't have it, then download it, install it, and then follow up with this simple tutorial. Once you download the file, you're going to get something like this. If you open Cartoon Animator 4 and you open the Hunter Scene End, this is what you're going to accomplish in a couple of minutes. I'm just going to hit play. <coughs> and this is the little scene we're going to animate super duper quick. Okay, so for that, I'm going to start a new document. And now the first thing I want to do is import the audio to my project. How do I do that? I click on Timeline and then I show the project. Probably if this is the first time you're opening Cartoon Animator, you're gonna have this disabled. So I enable the one that says object related track and then click on track list and click on project. There you go. Now I click on sound effects, double click uh, on the first frame and then go to your folder, the animate a scene folder, the one you downloaded and import audio scenes, hunters walking. Click. That's the audio. And then I go to frame 91, that's gonna be the end of the animation. And instead of having the animation extend for hours and hours, I click on settings and change from 2000, I'm gonna change it to 91. Okay? I press enter. Now uh, the animation only lasts for 91 frames. Good. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import my character. Now, right now, you have this character, this is the character, Hunters, okay? If you just take it and click and drag, you will get the character, okay? Let me go to frame one, and if I press K, you can see that I prepared this character with all the bones necessary for me to be able to animate it. I can move everything, okay? So, that's all you have to do. Let me undo all of that. And I'm gonna take this character and put it around the center of the screen. Later, we're gonna be positioning the character more precisely, okay? Right now, let's leave it like this. And the next thing I'm gonna do is import the other assets. The next asset is gonna be the background. I just click and drag, this is a huge background look the the big how big it is is 6k just click and drag and import it as a prop it says maximum image da, da, da. yes resize for the maximum uh, image okay now this one is covering everything i don't want that let's put i'm focusing on this little arrow and i'm putting it around the center of the screen okay now i can use the mouse wheel to go back and forth, okay? Or I can click on this arrow and pull it back a lot. I want this to be very, very far away. It's gonna be around here, okay? It's minus 1251, around there. Now the problem is that this is the camera. This is what we're gonna use, this is the screen, okay? So what I'm gonna do is that First, I want to make sure that this aspect ratio is HD, okay? High definition. So for that, let me go to render, click render video, and aha, it's widescreen. I don't want widescreen, I want HD 1080. Click there, and then just cancel. This was just to set the correct aspect ratio for HD. Now what I'm gonna do is, make this background bigger. How? Well, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna zoom out. 
If you don't know how to use Cartoon Animator, I'm gonna teach you really quick. You can just press Alt and then click on the mouse, okay? And then Alt and then both clicks and then drag back and forth, okay? So I'm gonna zoom out a lot and then make this bigger to around there, okay? And now I'm gonna zoom in and the camera is gonna be around there. Now let's do the next thing. Now I'm gonna import my foreground. For that, I just go to my project files. I have imported the, the audio, the hunters, the background. Now I only need these two other elements. Foreground one, just click and drag into the project and then uh, import it as prop. There it is. This is too big. Let's make it smaller. I'm gonna make it smaller to maybe... I'm gonna activate the, uh, the, l the ratio. Make sure it's red or orange. And then I'm gonna put 41%. There you go. I think that's a good size. But let's make it... Uh, I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera. I'm using my mouse wheel. And let's bring it around maybe around here. Okay, 205. And I'm gonna position it here. Yeah, that's good. Now I'm going to do exactly the same but with foreground number two. I'm doing this in fast forward. Port, scale, and reposition. Now let's reposition the hunters a little bit closer to the camera, around there, 155. And then the initial position is gonna be there let's bring the background a little bit up like that and i believe we can work with that now let's set this up the camera is gonna be closer like this and maybe i'm gonna bring this down a little bit i this is what i'm focusing on i'm focusing on having the i'm paying attention to the lower part of the screen that's where i'm paying a lot of attention to then i zoom out a little bit and I think we're good to go. Let me make this go a little bit further down. And now what I'm going to do is start the animation. If I just press play, <laughs> I only get the sound, but there's no animation. This character is not moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this hunter walking motion, a motion clip, and I'm just going to drop it on the character for that. Let's go to Cartoon Animator, make sure you are on frame one, and then have the character selected, then go to Windows. I'm putting this on the side. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Put it on the side, and then just click and drag the motion clip, click and drag into your character. <laughs> That's it, everything is ready. Now, this character is being animated, but he needs to move. Let's put the initial position. His initial position is going to be... He's going to go a little bit farther back. He's going to start from there. Okay? Now, let me go to the timeline. And then, because I have this character selected, it's showing it here. Hunter's Walk. Because I have Object Related Track activated. I'm going to click on Transform. And that's frame 1. Now, later I'm going to show you how you get the timing right. I already have the timing for this animation. And I'm going to go to frame 5. I know it's exactly on frame 5 where I have to move this character from, from where it is to maybe here. Okay? So, from here to here. There you go. And then he's going to hold that position. For that, I'm just going to click, uh, select that keyframe, copy. Then I go to frame 9 right here and then paste. That's it. He's holding this position. He's holding it from frame 4. Well, let me change the color to something darker. From frame 4 to frame 9 is the same position. Okay? And then he's going to change. I need to go to frame 21 right here. And he's going to move a little bit further forward. 
to just a little bit around there. And then he's gonna hold that position. I copy this and then I go to frame, maybe frame 27 right here and paste it. So he's holding this position and this position, okay? And he moves from frame nine to frame 21, okay? Then I go to frame 38 around here and then he moves again around there but he's going up you can see the trajectory right here he's going up I don't want that I want him to be on a horizontal line so I'm gonna focus on this trajectory and make him go down a little bit around there okay then he's gonna keep that position I just copy then go to frame 44 right here and then paste and then go to frame 55 he, again let me uh, make an emphasis he's holding this position this position and this position okay now how did I learn this well you're gonna I'm gonna explain all of this in later lessons okay right now you just follow this instruction so you can have something like oh I did this animation so right now I'm on frame 55, I push him forward a little bit right here and then copy, he's, he's going to hold that position until frame 61, paste, very good. And then I go to frame 75, which is here, and then he's going to move again, he's going to move a big step all the way to here. Okay, so as you can see, he makes a small step and then a longer step and then a little bit small and then larger. I learned this because of how I was moving. Later, you're going to learn about references and all of that. Okay, right now that this is working good, he's going to hold that position, position 75. I'm going to copy that frame and then I'm going to paste it on frame 80 right here. Paste it. That's it. He's holding this position around there. And then lastly, he's going to do the last pull. I'm going to go all the way to frame 91 and then push him a little bit to here. Now let's see it. I'm going to go to the beginning. <laughs> you see, he's moving forward. Nice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the animation, the style of the animation right now, it says linear. I'm going to change from linear. I'm going to right click, then transition curve and click smooth. And I'm going to do that for all the, key, the keyframes. I select each one and then select smooth. There you go. Now this is going to add a little bit of quality to the time. <laughs> Very good. That's it. Now the last thing we need to do is animate the camera. I'm going to pull the background. I'm going to pull it a little bit up, but first make sure you are on frame one. Okay. I'm on frame one. I select the background and pull it up a little bit like this without doing this. This is a mistake. I'm leaving this space below the screen. That is a mistake. Just make sure it's covering the whole screen. Remember, this marquee is the screen. So it's going to start there. Now I'm going to animate the camera. I'm going to activate the scene camera by clicking on camera record uh, mode. So that's the first position of the camera. Now I want to show the keyframes for the camera. I disable sound effects and activate camera. That's the first position. Let's put this camera into position. It's going to be around there. And then at the end, on frame 91, the camera is going to get closer and a little bit to the side. Like this. Now let's go back and play. <laughs> there you go. Maybe I want to go a little bit more aggressive. Like this. I want a little bit more movement. So let's go back to the first frame right here frame one and then I'm gonna push the camera I'm holding alt and pulling it a little bit more to the uh, to the left I move the camera to the left I press play 
There you go. And that's it. That's the animation. Great. Right? Super cool. Now, an interesting question. How can someone take so little time to create an animation? Why did it took so little time? Well, because I put a lot of hard work producing all the images, producing all the animation, all the sound for you. And all you had to do was putting it all together, right? That is what it feels to have everything done for you. Something we can definitely do for you if we like your future animation project and decide to work with you. If you have a story or idea that you want to see animated, you can apply for our production services at 2d101.com forward slash production. If, again, if we like your project and decide to work with you, we will contact you to get started, okay? Now, if you have everything together and what is missing is the animation, then here's what you can do. This is how I animated this scene. I just click on the character, then press letter K on my keyboard to show the bones which I can take to move my character and animate it. Then I show the timeline, click on motion so I can see all the keyframes for the motion and the bones and start animating. I just move to a different frame and then I move the character as like this. And now I have a little animation there. And that's what I did. Simple. If you want to see everything I did to create this animation, check out the behind the scenes of the hunters. If you missed it, you can go to 2D1014 slash hunters dash BTS. The link is also provided below this video. If you're not on our blog or on our school, you can go to this post at 2D101.com forward slash hunter scene. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Marek Diaz for 2DAnimation101.com. Take care.